In today's video lesson, the composition of petroleum, paraffin, cycloparaffin, aromats, naphtha, petroleum bedrock, amount of hydrocarbon, formation of hydrocarbons, presence of light hydrocarbons, type of organic matter, amount of organic matter, degree of maturity of organic matter are explained. Before starting our lesson, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like my videos and write a comment under my videos. Let's start our lesson now. Composition of Oil Crude oil is a complex mixture of various hydrocarbons, including alkanes, cycloalkanes, and aromatic hydrocarbons, along with small amounts of nitrogen, sulfur, and oxygen-containing compounds. The specific composition of crude oil varies depending on the location and type of oil deposit, but all crude oils contain a mixture of hydrocarbons with carbon chains of varying lengths. The most abundant components in crude oil are typically alkanes with 10 to 16 carbon atoms. What is paraffin? Paraffin is a term commonly used to describe a group of alkane hydrocarbons with a straight chain structure, similar to wax. It is a white or colorless, odorless, tasteless, solid or semi-solid material that is insoluble in water and has a low melting point. Paraffin is produced from petroleum and is commonly used in a variety of products such as candles, cosmetic creams, and as a lubricant in food packaging. It can also be found as a component of some crude oils, where it is typically present as a mixture of different straight-chain alkanes. What is cycloparaffin? Cycloparaffins, also known as cycloalkanes, are a class of organic compounds composed of carbon and hydrogen atoms arranged in a ring structure. They are similar to straight-chain alkanes, or paraffins, but have a cyclic arrangement of the carbon atoms rather than a linear one. Cycloparaffins can also be found as components of crude oil and are used as starting materials in the production of a wide range of products, including lubricants, fuels, and plastic resins. The properties of cycloparaffins depend on the size of the ring and the degree of branching, with larger rings and more branching leading to higher boiling points and viscosities. Aromatase Aromatic hydrocarbons, also known as aromatase, are a class of organic compounds that contain one or more aromatic rings. An aromatic ring is a planar, cyclic arrangement of atoms, most commonly carbon and hydrogen, in which alternating double bonds are present, known as an aromatic ring or an arene. Aromatic hydrocarbons are highly reactive due to the presence of the double bonds and are used as starting materials in the production of a wide range of products, including dyes, plastics, and pharmaceuticals. Some of the common examples of aromatic hydrocarbons are benzene, toluene, xylene, and naphthalene. They can also be found as components of crude oil and are usually present in small amounts compared to the more abundant alkanes and cycloalkanes. What is naphtha? Naphtha is a term used to describe a group of volatile, highly flammable, liquid hydrocarbon mixtures. It is a colorless to pale yellow liquid that is obtained as a byproduct of petroleum refining and is used as a solvent and as a starting material for the production of a wide range of chemicals and products, including gasoline, plastics, and chemicals used in the petrochemical industry. The exact composition of naphtha depends on the source and processing method, but it typically contains a mixture of alkanes, cycloalkanes, and aromatic hydrocarbons. Naphtha is a complex mixture and its properties can vary widely depending on the specific components and their relative proportions. What is oil bedrock? Oil bedrock refers to the rock formations or geologic strata that contain petroleum or oil deposits. These formations can be sedimentary rocks such as sandstone, limestone, and shale, or igneous and metamorphic rocks. Oil is formed from the remains of ancient marine plants and animals that were deposited in sedimentary basins and subjected to heat and pressure over millions of years. As these organic materials are transformed into oil, they become trapped in porous rocks such as sandstone and limestone, or in non-porous rocks such as shale that have low permeability. 
The oil bedrock is typically located several thousand feet below the surface and is accessed through drilling wells. The exploration for and production of oil and gas depend on the understanding of the geology of the oil bedrock and the characteristics of the oil deposits it contains. Amount of hydrocarbon The amount of hydrocarbon in a sample of oil or other petroleum products depends on the specific product and the method used to measure it. Hydrocarbons are the primary components of petroleum and include alkanes, cycloalkanes, and aromatic hydrocarbons. The concentration of these components can be determined using various analytical methods, such as gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, or infrared spectroscopy. In the case of crude oil, the amount of hydrocarbon can be expressed as its weight or volume, and is typically measured in barrels or gallons. One barrel of crude oil is equivalent to 42 gallons or 159 liters. The weight or volume of hydrocarbons in a sample of crude oil can vary depending on its specific gravity, which is a measure of its density relative to water. In summary, the amount of hydrocarbon in a sample of oil or petroleum product is dependent on its specific composition and the method used to measure it. What is hydrocarbon formation? Hydrocarbon formation refers to the process by which petroleum or oil is created from organic matter over millions of years. The process starts with the accumulation of dead plant and animal material in sedimentary basins, such as river deltas, swamps, and oceans. As these organic materials are buried over time by sediment and sedimentary rocks, they are subjected to heat and pressure from the overlying rocks and from the Earth's mantle. This results in the conversion of the organic matter into various types of hydrocarbons, including alkanes, cycloalkanes, and aromatic hydrocarbons. The formation of hydrocarbons is a complex process that depends on several factors, including the type and amount of organic matter, the temperature and pressure conditions in the sedimentary basin, and the presence of specific microorganisms. The transformation of the organic matter into hydrocarbons takes place over millions of years, and the resulting oil deposits are typically found several thousand feet below the surface of the earth. In summary, hydrocarbon formation is the process by which petroleum or oil is created from the remains of ancient plants and animals that have been subjected to heat and pressure over millions of years. The resulting hydrocarbons are trapped in rock formations and can be accessed through drilling wells. Presence of Light Hydrocarbons Light hydrocarbons are a class of organic compounds that have low molecular weights and boiling points. They are typically composed of 1 to 4 carbon atoms and include methane, ethane, propane, and butane. The presence of light hydrocarbons in oil or petroleum products indicates a high degree of thermal maturity and is an important factor in the evaluation of the quality and economic value of these products. Light hydrocarbons are often found in natural gas deposits, where they can be produced along with heavier hydrocarbons, such as condensates, natural gasoline, and naphtha. In crude oil, the presence of light hydrocarbons can indicate a low density and high API gravity, which are desirable properties for some types of crude oil. However, too high a proportion of light hydrocarbons in crude oil can reduce its value as a fuel because of its low heating value. The presence of light hydrocarbons can also be used as an indicator of the source and thermal maturity of oil and gas deposits. For example, the presence of high levels of ethane and propane in natural gas can indicate a biogenic source, while the presence of methane, ethane, and propane in crude oil can indicate a thermogenic source. In summary, the presence of light hydrocarbons in oil and petroleum products is an important factor in the evaluation of their quality and economic value. The type and proportion of light hydrocarbons can provide information about the source and thermal maturity of the deposits, and can impact the product's value as a fuel. Type of organic matter The type of organic matter that forms petroleum or oil is primarily composed of the remains of ancient marine plants and animals. These organic materials include phytoplankton, zooplankton, algae, 
bacteria, and various types of plants and animals that lived in the ocean or near the coast. Over time, these organic materials are buried by sediment and sedimentary rocks, and subjected to heat and pressure from the overlying rocks and from the Earth's mantle. This results in the conversion of the organic matter into hydrocarbons, including alkanes, cycloalkanes, and aromatic hydrocarbons. The specific type and composition of organic matter that forms petroleum or oil can vary depending on several factors, including the location and climate of the sedimentary basin, the presence of specific microorganisms, and the temperature and pressure conditions in the basin. For example, the type of organic matter that forms oil in a shallow, warm sea will be different from that in a deep ocean or a cold sea. In summary, the type of organic matter that forms petroleum or oil is primarily composed of the remains of ancient marine plants and animals. The specific type and composition of the organic matter can impact the characteristics and quality of the resulting oil or petroleum products. Amount of organic matter The amount of organic matter that forms petroleum or oil can vary widely depending on several factors, including the size and location of the sedimentary basin, the climate and geology of the region, and the rate of organic material accumulation. Some sedimentary basins may contain high concentrations of organic matter and result in large oil deposits, while others may contain low concentrations and result in smaller deposits. The amount of organic matter that forms petroleum or oil is also influenced by the rate at which it is buried and subjected to heat and pressure. In general, faster burial rates result in higher concentrations of organic matter and, therefore, larger oil deposits. Additionally, the presence of specific types of organic matter, such as algae and bacteria, can also impact the amount of oil that is formed. In summary, the amount of organic matter that forms petroleum or oil can vary widely depending on several factors, including the size and location of the sedimentary basin, the rate of organic material accumulation, and the presence of specific types of organic matter. The amount of organic matter has a direct impact on the size and quality of the resulting oil deposits. Degree of Maturity of Organic Matter The degree of maturity of organic matter is a measure of how much the organic material has been transformed into hydrocarbons through the process of thermal maturation. This process occurs as the organic matter is buried by sediment and subjected to increasing heat and pressure over time. As the organic matter matures, it releases hydrocarbons and other volatile compounds, and the remaining material is transformed into oil or gas. The degree of maturity of organic matter can be determined by analyzing the chemical and physical properties of the oil or petroleum products that are formed. For example, higher proportions of light hydrocarbons, such as methane, ethane, and propane, can indicate a higher degree of thermal maturity, while higher proportions of heavier hydrocarbons, such as naphtha and kerosene, can indicate a lower degree of maturity. In general, the degree of maturity of organic matter has a significant impact on the quality and economic value of the resulting oil or petroleum products. Higher degrees of thermal maturity result in higher proportions of light hydrocarbons, which are desirable for some applications, but can also reduce the value of the product as a fuel. On the other hand, lower degrees of maturity result in lower proportions of light hydrocarbons and higher proportions of heavier hydrocarbons, which can be valuable as fuels and chemical feedstocks. In summary, the degree of maturity of organic matter is a measure of how much the organic material has been transformed into hydrocarbons through the process of thermal maturation. This process occurs as the organic matter is buried by sediment and subjected to increasing heat and pressure over time. The degree of maturity has a significant impact on the quality and economic value of the resulting oil or petroleum products. Before we finish our lesson, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, like my videos and write a comment under my videos.